All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And it's a sincere Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. I want to go in on this lesson, you know, about how America is, you know, practically riding on uh, four flat tires, you know. Um, I. You know, I, I at first said that uh, America was uh, riding on four slow leaking tires, you know, and Apostle Ramlob, you know, he said more likely or more like uh, four flat tires, you know, and it, it makes more sense, you know, because anybody who knows, like, when you're riding on four flat tires, you know, which America is, you know, with Babylon the Great, you know, you know that that, that tire I mean, th that car, those tires are soon to to catch on fire, you know, and that's what that's what's going to happen, man. You know, that 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 them tires are going to catch on fire, you know, and that car, you know, is in danger of blowing up. And you know, us here at Great Millstone, you know, we looking forward to that car, which is known as America, being blown up, you know. Um, this is Habakkuk 2 and 3. It says, For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry, you know? And, and, and we know that by America riding on these four flat tires, you know, it, it really has nothing left left in this country, you know? they don't have They don't have anything, you know? The only the only thing that they have, you know, is this RFID chip that they're about to push out uh, on the people, you know. But with that said, they're gonna have like a lot of uh, uh, craziness going on in this society, you know. It's already geared towards that, you know. We're literally one false flag away from martial law. You got the the. The famines that that's uh, supposed to come, the the pestilences, you know, there's a lot of stuff that you know that that must need to be done before the Lord comes back, you know. But the RFID chip is the main prophecy that you know we here at Great Millstone, the hopeful elect, are waiting for, you know. So we waiting for the the RFID chip. You know, because we know that when that when that chip comes, you know, that's 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 them, them tires being on fire. You know, this this car known as America is, you know, is going to is going to blow up, man. You know, and the Lord is going to be the one that blows it up, man. Um, Luke 12 and 49. This is the this is the one who the world ignorantly calls Jesus speaking, you know, whose real name is Yahweh Shah. It says, I am come. To send fire on the earth, you know, because when he comes back, man, he's coming back with them chariots, you know, and 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 you know he's going to the Lord is going to destroy America, you know, with thermonuclear missiles. It says, and what will I if it be already kindled, you know? And right now, by America, uh, on them on them four four uh, flat tires, you know, that fire is already starting. You know, we already see it, you know. And so so when 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 that fire is starting, that's when the race riots gonna be going going on, you know. You're gonna have uh the, the World War Three, you know, that's prevalent, like that's it's already building up towards that, you know, the war to end all wars, you know. But when Yahweh Shah come, you know it's already gonna be um a lot of stuff going on. You know, it's going to be chaos, the, 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 the RFID chip, you know. Um, but this place has to go, man, you know. It's, this, this has been a sour taste in our mouths, you know, from the day we were born, man. From the day that our people were brought over here on these slave ships, you know. This, this place hasn't been a place for the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans you know, ever since the so-called white man took over, it's, it's, it's been nothing but wickedness, man. You know? 
And we want this place to be, be destroyed, man. You know? So that we can have our own kingdom and where righteousness is, man. You know? And the so-called white man is going into slavery for all the, all the wicked shit that they done did. This is Malachi 4 and 1. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. And, the, and all the proud, yeah, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And the day shall, that, that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. Okay, and, and, and two thirds of our people, the two thirds of the so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans who are the Israelites, God's chosen people, those people, two thirds of them going to get destroyed, man. Right along with the, 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 the Ed Esau, man, the Edomites, man, they're going to be destroyed, man. You know, for all the wicked stuff, for, for being proud, you know, they're going to be totally wiped out, man, you know. And, 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 and we looking forward to that day, man. So we can get the hell up out of this oppression, man. This sad state, man. This is Psalm uh, 18 and 27. It says, For thou wilt save the afflicted people. And we are the afflicted people, man. You know? We, we, we going through hell every day, man. Got to wake up. Go to work. You know? It seems like it's a, a, a bill, a different bill. That you got to pay every month, man. You know? It's, it's already bad enough that we paying car insurance. You know? And if you don't get any car insurance, you they still taking money out your check, man. You know? It says, For thou wilt save the afflicted people, but will bring down high looks. And don't the so-called white man have them high looks? Don't they look down on the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans as if they're nothing? You know? The Lord is going to bring them down, man. You know? He's going to burn these people up, man, for being proud, man. You know? He got a, he got an oven, you know, that he's heating up right now, man. In America, you know, it's that oven, man. You know? That that car that's heating up, them four flat tires. Okay? This is Psalm 137 and 8. O daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed. And America is known as Babylon the Great, you know. It says, happy shall he be that reward of thee as thou hast served us. Okay. So, so America, you know, which was when you go into the, to, to the root word of America, it means bitter, man. Okay. So it says, happy shall he be that reward of thee as thou hast served us. Okay. And how has, how has America served us, man? You know, they, they, they served us with, with nothing but with, but with sad times, man. You know, with, with tribulation, man. You know, it made, a, it, it made our lives harder than what the hell it should, should be, man. Okay, we're not li really living in this society, man. You know, so this place got to go, man. So that we can be happy, man. So that we, we deserve happiness, man. Why the hell do these, these so-called uh, white people... Who are the lowest people on this planet? Why the hell do they get to fucking live uh, it, with, with, with peace and shit, man? You know? But we got to deal with the niggas and shit, man. You know? They don't have to worry about that stuff because they living in the in the areas where they got the good families. You know? They got they, they know what it feel like to have both parents in the household. You know, to have um, food. Not have to worry about half the problems that the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans got to worry about, man. You know? We going through the curses, man, according to Deuteronomy 28. You know? So, 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 man, it, it's going, we going to be happy, man, when this place get, get, get destroyed, man. You know? Because we know that in the kingdom, it's going to be the most beautiful thing that we ever could imagine, man. Way beyond our imagination, man. You know? But with that, man, America is, is, is on its way out, man. It's on four flat tires, man. You know? They don't got no insurance, you know? And the most high is gonna 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 destroy this place. He's gonna wipe it out, man. You know? You can't you can't uh heal this place, man. You know, ain't no ain't no healing this place, man. It's done, it's through. You know, it's finished, you know? And we see that, man. We waiting for that, that time to come, man, because the Lord's the Lord promised that, man. The Lord 
that 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 made everything. He promised that to us, man. And that's what we should be looking for, you know, and and hoping for, man. So with that, man, I want to give all praises on and glory to Yahweh by Shem Yahushua, man. Double honors to the apostles, a great millstone, and the elders, a great millstone, and the sincere son of want to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and sincerity. Death to America, man. And Shalom.